Avengers Infinity War had people crying in their seats, but it could have also had audiences barfing in their popcorn. In a recent conversation with IGN, co-screenwriter Christopher Marcus described a scene which was scripted but never shot for the movie. It's a good thing, too, because it might have taken the audience right out of the film's story by making them sick to their stomachs. Marcus described the scene which would have happened early on in Infinity War. He said, It was a scene of basically Widow and Falcon and Cap in hiding post-Civil War, and they'd just been through a big fight with criminals, and Cap was eating mashed potatoes, and Falcon says, You're bleeding into your mashed potatoes. Cap looks at Falcon like, Yeah, he is bleeding into his mashed potatoes. I remember Kevin Feige going, He's bleeding into his mashed potatoes? I don't want to see that. Yeah, maybe we went a little too… something. I think it's gratuitous, but whatever. It's far, Mr. Marcus. The word you're looking for is far. Stoic soldier that he is, we suppose it's pretty easy to imagine Captain America being wholly unconcerned by the fact that he's chowing down on bloody potatoes. But as usual, it appears that Feige's instincts were pretty spot on here, because we're sure that nobody wanted to see that. Of course, when you're scripting an absolutely massive crossover film like Infinity War, you're gonna have a few things that don't make the final cut. During their appearance at San Diego Comic-Con this past summer, Marcus and his co-writer Stephen McBealy talked about a couple of other notable scenes that didn't make it past the conception stage. One that would have been really cool, and another that, well, would have, quote, sucked rocks, as McBealy delicately put it. This would have been the original version of Thor's adventure, which in the finished film had him journeying to Nidavellir to convince the giant dwarf Eitri to craft him a battle axe capable of taking down Thanos. It proved to be a tense, funny, memorable sequence. Thor was forced to essentially kickstart a dying star, he and Rocket began to forge a sweet bond, and Groot assisted with mounting Stormbreaker, the weapon with which Thor would ultimately fail to go for the head. You should have gone for the Yeah, yeah, we know, Thanos. God, give it a rest already. Anyway, it's not so much that Marcus and McFeely's conception of the sequence was different, it's more that the pair simply had no idea what to do with Thor during the film. Marcus explained that what they came up with was, quote, much too adventure-related and insufficiently character-based, and involved Thor battling a giant snake. McFeely admitted that while Infinity War's script was in this draft, the duo actually feared for their jobs. He confessed, It was dark for a long time because we hadn't done well enough. Eventually, the duo came up with a quest to knit of a leer, which both made narrative sense and provided some excellent character beats for the God of Thunder. While it certainly sounds like their original plans for Thor would have dragged the film down in the middle, another scene that didn't make it before the cameras, one involving the Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange, might have been really cool, but would have also felt ported over from a different movie entirely. The scene would have taken place during the confrontation on Titan between Thanos, Strange, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. During the fight, Strange would have employed the same trick once used on him by the Ancient One, giving the Mad Titan a poke in the head that would have sent him hurtling through the multiverse. Thanos would have been forced to relive all of his genocidal crimes, and in the climactic moment, we would have gotten our on-screen introduction to an iconic and immensely powerful Marvel character, the Living Tribunal, a godlike being who ensures that balance is maintained throughout the multiverse. The Tribunal would have judged Evil Grimace harshly, but then Thanos, realizing that the whole ordeal was just more smoke and mirrors from Strange, would have basically snapped out of it and returned to the fight against our heroes. But while that sounds cool on paper, Marcus explained that the sequence still would have thrown off the movie's pacing. He quipped, We were in the middle of a really fast-paced fight, so to stop it for an LSD trip kind of sucked the air out of it. It's always interesting to know what might have been, although it's safe to say that Infinity War did not suffer for its lack of giant serpents and bloody mashed potatoes. It just goes to show that even the creative minds behind our favorite movies can stumble pretty hard. And it also makes us thankful that Feige was around to remind the A-Scribes that they were not, in fact, writing a horror movie. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the Marvel Cinematic Universe are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.